everyone, my name is Ishani and I am a member of Archana School Alumni Association. I am also an online student of N Prabhaka sir. Today I am going to talk about my trip to Thailand and in today's video we will go towards the cultural side of Thailand. Day 2, 26th of December. This is also part 3 of Sanctuary of Truth. Oh, by the way, just a reminder. We're still on the same day, which is day 2. Today, we will be learning and you guys will be listening about the 5th and the 6th and probably the 7th truth of life. The 5th truth of life. The 5th truth of life states that what is our goal or what is the purpose of us being created in this world? As I've also said, this life of being a human is it comes after thousands and thousands of life thousands and thousands of years and cycles and all of that and what is our purpose in life what is our goal in life my my dear tour guide jess his name is jess my dear tour guide asked everyone what is their purpose in life and what did everyone say to have fun that is really not the true purpose of life a purpose of life can also be to keep many people happy to make a change and an impact on the nature and on the world to give to give and give for what you are not only that you just have to make something in your life create something help someone impact save save the nature save the environment it will help you and you will not leave with the guilt out of this world and out of this life it also states that many people think that their purpose in life is to serve their kids serve their family to just work in their job and to follow their routine no that is not the right thing your purpose in life is way more than what you think and really really people have to get to know what their purpose in life is it, they have to create an awareness and that's what we're doing i would really like to I just hope that everybody after you guys have watched this video you just think about what your purpose in life is have like a little brief on that it's really important anyway that's the end of our fifth truth of life now we come to our sixth truth of life the sixth truth of life in simple words or in just one sentence states that a society is a two-sided coin well, as we know that there are different societies and different communities. One are rich and one are poor. One are mean and one are kind. One are faithful and one are just ungrateful. You can be a slave. There's a, there's a society where people are just using others out of nowhere. There's also a society where people discriminate and there's a society where people make fun of others. There's a society society where people don't care about women there are different types of societies but there's always always a society any society we talk about is a two-sided coin or two-headed coin actually no two-sided coin <laughs> anything if i talk about the society that is mean it has another side the kind one if I talk about a society that doesn't care about its women, don't care about others' feelings, don't care about anything, then there's also a good to it. Whenever there's a good, there's also a bad. It's sort of like pros and cons. In some places, pros are way more than cons. And cons are way more than pros. But does not mean that we forget that there's actually a cons? No. I can just say, it's an example for society, I can just say, if I give a blank piece of white paper, and there's a dot in between, and that dot is a mistake, and the white 
is just correct every single person will look at that one dot and just stare at it and just they they won't care about the white paper all they care about is the dot all they care about is the mistakes and the cons but they never care about the pros and also example is that our life is like a painting you can paint it however you want and if there's a little black you can make that black also beautiful if every single black dot on our life which is a canvas every single black dot on our canvas is there you can make it as beautiful as a galaxy life is like a canvas you can paint however you want to on it but if there are some black dots or mistakes you can make them beautiful too you can paint over them you can correct them there's so many things you can do if there's one dot in your canvas it doesn't mean it's the end of it it can still be really pretty the next truth of life is the seventh truth of life the last one it talks about the starting of a society how does a society start basically the seventh truth of life states about family everybody loves their family don't they they might not have time for each other but everybody loves their family you can be in any state but your family is always there for you they look at you good and bad but they're always always there for you i love my family me my dog my mother my father i love it well i was very happy to look at the seventh sort of life because it just shows shiva lord shiva with his wife and his kids the seventh sort of life and that point also you does anyone of us know what family means or the full form i'll tell you f for father a for aunt m for mother i love you i for i l for love y for you father and mother i love you that's the meaning of family i was very happy because after after he after the two i told us that what family means he said that if anybody has your family or your mother and father with you right now please tell this to them but well, i was fortunately though not i was fortunate because my parents were with me they were they were like no one had their parents at that point like nobody's parents were present except for mine so i just said i looked at my mom I looked at my dad. I said, "Father," and I looked at my mom and said, "Father and mother, I love you." That moment was so precious in my life. Anyway, after that, we we explored the place even more, and we saw an ancient lift. They had made a lift that looks exactly ancient, like queens and kings used to have. And then we also found another place where our tour guide mentioned that. From there is where the king actually used to come out and say hello to the people. So I took a couple of photos there. Come on, we had to. And after that, there was a feedback place where I actually wrote a feedback. So, yeah. That feedback was to Jeff, Jess and everybody. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and after thank you of truth, we left. We had a little bit of a lunch and we went to mini siam <laughs>